Let's talk some 49ers softball. Welcome inside our studios in the broadcast communications section of the library here on campus. Ryan Rose with you, and uh, we've got we've got some ballers here. We brought some ballers onto the set. Uh, a couple of seniors and our, our coach, Amy DeVos. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh, you're getting old hat at this uh, TV stuff, so I uh, thought we'd bring you back in and just kind of chat you up about this coming season. We've got Kaylee Lang and we've got Brianna Gwaltney, a couple of uh, awesome players from last year and a good core coming back, Coach, when you think about uh, what to expect here in 2013. Uh, home runs flying out of the ballpark, you know, don't, don't slow down when you drive by the softball stadium. You might get hit by a flying ball, but... Uh, let's talk about this upcoming season. You're going to play a lot at home, all at, all at, at once to start with, kind of the thing that you guys have been doing, having so many home tournaments to get going. That's got to be an advantage for the girls to get into the, the nice rhythms that you want to start the season with. Well, most definitely. It gives us an opportunity uh, to play in front of a home crowd, but also it gives all of our players a chance to adjust to getting ready for the spring season. We're not getting on a bus to go play. We're not staying in hotels. We're able to be at, you know, in your own room. Uh, at night, but you're at your own field, and I think that gives us the advantage because we've been practicing outside for three to four weeks there and having a pretty good comfort zone for all of them, and it makes a nice transition for the season. You know, 56-game season is a long one, and so if you can go into it and stay rested and be ready to go in mid-March when conference play starts, that's kind of our goal with them. Uh, we do, you know, obviously hit the road in early March, but if we, you know, bring in the other schools in, keeping our team at home and kind of keeping that home field advantage has really been a you know a strength for us over the last several years. And it's fun to get so many different kinds of teams in here. You know, not play the same regional opponents every year, get different looks at different kinds of pitching, you know, different kinds of way different styles of softball are. That's got to be fun too to kind of keep you on your toes and, and get you ready for any kind of team you might face later on. Most definitely, it's a pretty good comparison for Atlantic 10 play. Uh, you know, Atlantic 10 play, we don't have, um, we have a pretty high top and sometimes a little bit lower bottom. And, uh, you know, we get, like you said, we get a lot of teams from the Northeast, uh, the Midwest coming down, and it helps prepare, you know, all of our players, like you said, for different styles of pitching, different styles of offense, you know, and then it also will identify for us very early on what we need to tweak and try to make better, you know, before mid-March hits here. So it's, um, you know, and for a lot of players, it's also an opportunity to play against friends that they hadn't, you know, seen in a while because the opposing colleges always usually have typically former teammates of our current players. Well, girls, uh, I know that... Uh, with some of the teams that you've played through the years, you guys have got a lot of experience on this squad. I know Bree's been here a while, and, and, and Ms. Lang, as you came in and transferred in, but you've played quite a bit. You guys started every game last year uh, mm -hmm. for Charlotte. So a good core of folks coming back. Talk about the your upper class that, that kind of grown up together on this squad and maybe some expectations for this coming season. Um, I'm excited. Um, I think we have good upper class, and it shows example for our underclassmen. Um, I know we have a big sophomore class, mm -hmm. and um, so they kind of outnumber us. But <laughs> um, I think we all work together, and I enjoy being around girls like that. Is it is it strange being kind of look around and we're the we're the older elder statesmen around here? We're the ones that have to kind of lead this squad. Is it kind of a different feel for you two? Yeah, it's it's definitely very weird uh, looking around and you know we're setting up for practice and people are coming and asking me questions, and I'm like. I'm like, well, this this goes here and this goes here. When it, I, I'm like, I don't even know what I'm doing, and right. I'm the senior now, and it's so it's very very crazy being the oldest ones and being the the ones that everybody looks up to, and um, it's definitely an exciting experience and um, definitely different. Different, yeah. Well, uh, with all the freshmen that kind of were thrown into the mix, this this squad has a little bit more experience than last year's squad. Uh, you won't see a lot of new faces playing because so many new faces were here last year. Does that give you an advantage, having so many people that kind of have gone through the ropes a little bit and know what's going on as a, from a leadership standpoint? I think so because, I mean, you look into other teams and you see how big their underclassmen are with the freshmen. You're like, wow, like we only lost one and we gained eight. And um, I think it's going to help us this year with the chemistry and um, just knowing how everybody plays and stuff. And um, I think we play really well together. And I think that year underneath our belt is going to help us this year. From a leadership standpoint, does that kind of make it easier to have so many familiar faces in the dugout? Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, as far as knowing your teammates and gaining respect for each other on the field, it's very important to have that year where you learn how people play, you learn how they work together. And um, you learn what you need to say to them, you know, whether it's to bring them up or, you know, to just encourage everybody. People work differently. And especially for us being leaders on the team, it's really important for us to know how each person's going to respond to the way that we talk to them. 
And so having that year under our belts with the majority of our team is really important. Any team has to have that upperclassman leadership. It doesn't have to be that they have to be stars or you know doing this dominant thing on the field, but they have to be um, the go-between, a little bit between your coaching staff and your team, but also just for that comfort zone to, you know, you're out there and you're up in Rhode Island and it's 35 degrees and like, yeah, we've been here before, you right. know, we'll get through it. We'll be able to, you know, you'll be able to play. Yeah, the wind's going to blow 40 miles an hour, but to see that, you know, not everybody's just in shock over it and, and that can breathe a little bit of fresh air into everybody and just give, you know, the, the younger players a chance to have that comfort zone and, to, you know, to be able to feel and play their game too. Speaking of being there and having been there, another trip through the A-10 this year, uh, having been to several of the places that you're going to go again, is that... I know this is one of the nicer places to play, obviously, in the league, but when you do have to go on the road, does that put any additional pressure on the seniors to, to be leaders and kind of rally people through situations where, look, we're going to pull out a win here. We've got to do this. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, I think it does at times. Um, a lot of the girls are very self-motivating, and, and when we go places, I don't hear a whole lot of, you know, oh, it, it's going to be harder because we're here. It's going to be worse because we're here. Most of the time everybody's out there we all want to win we all want to play so it's definitely good like when we go to places with bad weather and and that's tough especially as a freshman or a sophomore when you haven't experienced that when you're from warm weather mm -hmm. it's very tough to play through those games um we went to like we're going to st bonaventure this year and when we went last time it hailed and sleeted on this the entire gracious. game and it was awful it, it was but you know, if we go out there and that happens again, I've been through it once and I know I can get through it again and exactly. hopefully I can help the other girls get through that too. That's not something someone from Anaheim Hills would probably think she'd ever experience. A no, little. it was very, it was very interesting. I was playing left field and I had hail pelting me in the back of the head the entire game, oh, um, but we got through it. <laughs> that's crazy. Well, but that's the Atlantic 10 sometimes. I mm -hmm. mean, and we get, we get stormy weather kind of close down here when it gets time for a tournament time it, it may you know early may can can be a little dicey all right uh last question before we let you go here expectations for the season another trip through the atlantic 10 a tough softball conference uh, challenges are out there for you but you know having some veterans and some some freshmen who've been through it now sophomores you got to kind of feel pretty good about your prospects i would guess i think most definitely i think that from a defensive and offensive standpoint we're the most experienced returning team uh, the A-10 is going to be very open. There's been, um, you know, we bring back a um, probably besides ourselves and maybe St. Joe's and Temple, one of the more experienced pitching staffs, uh, whereas some of the other ones are starting, quote, starting over a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a very wide open year for the A-10. I think it's going to be a very offensive year um, until some teams settle in. But I think this is the time to might as well, you know, if we're going to if we're going to leave, we might as well go ahead and leave with a title. That's a, I like that. I like the way you're thinking there. And if you're saying it's an offensive year. I like who you're bringing to the fight exactly. because we got some offense. You need to come down, fans, and check out this softball team this year. Do not park on the other side of the fence, on the, on the outfield side, because there will be home runs flying out of there, our home runs flying out of there, and Bree and Kaylee are going to be a big part of that this coming season. They started every game last year, so you can expect to see these two in the lineup and a bevy of other young players that uh, we're very excited about and a good squad this year. So good luck to, to the three of you and the rest of your teammates. Best of health, and I know things are going to go well for you. Coach, thanks for stopping in. Thank I you. know it's been a crazy January, February for yeah. weather, but uh, hopefully it kind of calms down when the season starts and we can have some fun home tournaments. Come down, check us out, www.charlotte49ers.com. You can get the whole schedule there. They're going to be home a lot early in the season. So uh, Coach Amy DeVos and, uh, and two of our seniors, Kaylee uh, Lang and uh, Brianna Gwaltney, thanks for visiting, ladies. We will see you down at the softball complex. Wear green when you come, and go Niners.